my dearest Taylor, look at you all gorgeous standing here about to get married. I'm so glad it's to me. We have been best friends more than half of our lives and have literally grown up together. You're the one girl to whom I have compared all others, and boy did you set the bar high. We have become so close that I can tell what you were thinking without you saying a word. And I promise to always have a big hug for you and kiss, no matter what kind of day you had. <laughs> Let's always have an adventure planned, whether it's going for ice cream at Handles, riding a roller coaster at Cedar Point, or walking along a beach in Florida. Anywhere with you will be just fine. So, I swear before God, our family, and friends, oh, and all of the Disney characters at the Magic Kingdom, <laughs> that Jetty and I will find a way to remind you just how loved you are every single day. I never needed someone to complete me. I needed someone to accept me completely, and you are that someone. I promise to always care for you, connect with you, comfort you, and celebrate with you. I promise to accept you the way you are. I fell in love with qualities and quirks and your outlook on life, and I promise to respect you as a person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are sometimes different, but no less than important than my own. I promise to join with you and to share all that is to come, to give and receive, to speak and to listen. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together, no matter where life leads me. I know that as long as you were there, it was where I was meant to be. And so with the ring I give to you today, I promise from this day forward, you'll never walk alone, and I can't wait to continue the adventure with you. I give you this ring as a sign that I choose you to be my wife, my partner, and my best friend till the end of my days. I give you this ring as a sign that I choose you to be my husband, my partner, and my best friend. It is my joyful responsibility to acknowledge your union as husband and wife. Stephen, you may now kiss the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Lofty. you haven't ran because let him run with hoodlums like us. I really appreciate you having me as your best man and I really appreciate what you do for Taylor. Congratulations on your guys' marriage. I wish the best for you for the next 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, whatever it's going to be. 
Steve, Taylor, I love you guys. So Steven, I want to thank you for making Taylor so happy. Before this day, you have been many things to Taylor. A friend, a companion, a partner. But now you will start a new chapter with a new role as a husband. They say that a successful marriage requires falling in love many times with the same person, which is something that you two have proven to be true. I know the future will hold many adventures for you two, which will probably tailor dragging you around from sun up to sun down so your feet don't work anymore. I am so excited, excited where this journey takes you and your adventure as husband and wife has officially begun. We all met Taylor in high school, and she instantly was the calm to our crazy. But you could tell immediately that there was something rare between Steve. It was some kind of connection that everyone back then could see playing today. The way you two play off of one another, a once in a lifetime kind of bond that I'll probably never see again. Taylor, even though you're like having another annoying little sister, I love you. <laughs> and wouldn't have it any other way. Steve. We've been through almost everything together, from helping each other through the hardest times in our lives, sitting in the kitchen eating cinnamon toast crunch, laughing about nothing for an hour straight. I couldn't have asked for a better brother than you, and I love you both. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Zylowski. Shelter up above you till they all fall.